If you're thinking about moving to Scottsdale, Arizona, or one of the surrounding areas in Phoenix, Arizona, then you're definitely gonna wanna watch this video. Today, we're going to do what we always do, and we're going to look at a few different houses with different price points in some of the absolute best neighborhoods that Scottsdale has to offer. Private, gated, exclusive, as well as exquisite areas to shop, dine, and explore that I cannot wait to show you. The reason I'm also doing this section of Scottsdale is it's in a gated community, and one of my viewers wanted to see the price points for houses in gated communities between 800,000 and 1.5 million. So that is what we are going to do. So make sure to stay until the end of this video because I'm going to give you so much information and show you around. And if you find value in this video, please like, subscribe, and comment as it really helps me. So thanks in advance if you go ahead and do that for me and now let's get after it right now. ready to go to this really great house here in Dow Mountain. The views are just fabulous. And this home that we're coming up to is nestled in this gorgeous oasis of Dow Mountain. Oh, nestled in an oasis. Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> that sound like chachy? Wow. That's a little chachy potatoes, guys. Yeah, not only is it an oasis, but it's nestled home. in Everybody's there. Everybody's familiar with chachy potatoes. You, know, you, you don't do that. Luxurious feel of the drive. It's a nice one. So we stopped off at this beautiful community of McDowell Mountain Ranch. You can see the mountains behind me and the gorgeous views. This is a great neighborhood. We have a house listed here for 1.7 million and it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, a little over 3,100 square feet. And it was built in 1997, but it's gorgeously done. And there's actually a bonus room and then there's a desert washout back, really adorable. And you can't go wrong with $45 a month HOAs, including your tennis and your pool. It's a perfect find. Check out this great street and then look at the gorgeous cul-de-sac. If you wanna just have some friends over, there's plenty of ample parking. Gotta check this place out, McDowell Mountain Ranch. So we're here again in the McDowell Mountain Ranch private prestigious community. There's a guard here, so it's gated. It's amazing. You have, they check your license plate, your name and all that. So it's very safe. And of course you have the gorgeous views again behind me and over here as well, private street. This listing that we're coming up on is a five bedroom, three and a half baths. And it's also listed for 3.275. And the HOAs are only 195 a month. What a great deal for having a guard, gate, quiet, beautiful neighborhood. And there's slightly over 3,900 square feet in this home. And it was built in 2001. It is just spectacular. You have to check this out. And the views, even when you come down the street, you can see the whole entire valley. And it lights up at night and the drive is just gorgeous. So we're here today at Paradise Desert Estates, a really great neighborhood, it's very family friendly. The streets are nice and wide, plenty of parking, and they also have garages as well, but have no problem with that. We're right by the Kierland Golf Course, just steps away. This house is listed at 1.4 million, and it's a four bedroom, three bath, 3,000 square feet, a lot of space. Chef's dream kitchen, it's just perfectly done. Some other facts about this home and this neighborhood is you're in the Paradise Valley Unified School District. Great schools and lots of parks nearby. The shopping is so close. Kierland has amazing stores and you also have the Scottsdale Quarter. There's so many great places. We're gonna show you that next. So stick around so we can show you all the cool things that this area has to offer. Hey 
guys, we are here today at the Scottsdale Quarter, which is in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we are gonna show you and take you on a tour of the Quarter and Cure Lynn. It's a beautiful high-end shopping area, starting out here at the Apple Store, all these gorgeous glass walls, and <laughs> you know how Apple is, totally fun to shop in. So we're gonna start there and take you all around. So we just crossed the street and now we are here by Yeti. And I love Yeti. I don't know about you, but it keeps you the nice, the sodas and the beer or whatever you're bringing on a trip cold. And the great part about Yeti being here is you can just jump over to an amazing lake for boating, kayaking, uh, swimming. They have 30 minutes east of Scottsdale. There is a great salt lake that is so fun for the kids, for the family, for friends. And there's also Lake Pleasant and there's also uh, Lake Barlett. Now I see this new store coming in. I've never heard of Rag and Bone, but it looks like jeans and it looks pretty cool in there. What do you think? So here's True Food Kitchen behind me and their food is so good. They have juices and um, smoothies and cocktails. And a really great favorite of mine is their edamame ravioli. I'm gonna show you that later because I'm getting that. So Andrea, what are you gonna get? I'm gonna get, well, I talked about the squash soup already and also gonna get the edamame dumplings. And what's in them is the white truffle oil and Thai basil and also toasted sesame seeds. Perfect timing, here comes the food now. Thank you. We won't have you, no worries. <laughs> so there's the soup, creamy for autumn. And then this is the one I was just describing. It has dash, uh, dashi, toasted sesame seeds, Thai basil, white truffle oil, edamame dumplings. Um, and the, another thing that is really good here is the lasagna bolognese. Really good, and their um, other pizza that you were gonna get, what was the other one you were gonna get you didn't get? Was it the chicken sausage or is that what that chicken is? Sausage. Yeah, that has smoked gouda, roasted fennel, organic debana, uh, tomato sauce. Place is hot. We're gonna dive in. We, what do you say we eat? I think so, and then afterwards, guess what? We can still go for a hike if we wanna work some of this off because we're right by all the hiking trails. But if you really wanna go out for some water, you can, there's the Salt Lake is only 30 minutes from here. We are still in the great location, the Scottsdale Quarter. Everything is in your proximity to go out and have a great time and enjoy a beautiful Friday afternoon into the evening here. It's already, what time is it? It's like, not even, it's like two o'clock. Everybody's, it's already happening. You dip the pizza in the egg. The eggs are almost better than everything. They really are. And they're farm local raised. And this adorable, the courtyard is great. Kids come there and they love to play a little bit and run around in the fountains. Really nice for the kids. They have activities at night, live bands playing and, um, they're ready for Halloween. Who doesn't like sugar? There's a, it's sugar here, and they have it, it's the cutest store handles. Have you seen these? I'm sure if you've been in it, sugar, perfect. Here we are at Free People. I don't know if you know, but the history of Free People started out in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where I'm originally from, Pennsylvania area. And their stores are so great. They just remind me of like that free flowing clothes. This next store is called Love Shack Fancy. It is beautifully done. I love the way they have all the flowers in here. It's just so inviting to come in. They started out with, I think, vintage clothes and they're a small family run business. And it's perfect for a nice fireside, cozy night, the way these clothes are. A lot of the looks, like it's free flowing, uh, a lot of pinks, cream colors and whites. And they even have some nice coats because it's getting colder here in Arizona, believe it or not. And we have gotten rid of the summer heat. So over here we have Pottery Barn, and if you just newly bought a home, you gotta come in Pottery Barn because they have everything you need for your house. And I think one of my favorite things in there is the aromatherapies and the candles. I mean, they smell amazing, they last a long time, and they're really easy to decorate your home. But they also have furniture in here, couches. They have all types of plates and cups and all that stuff that you need essentials for your house. So you gotta check out the Pottery Barn right here across from True Kitchen.
plenty of things that you don't need to move with these amazing stores here. Everything is here. Great and barrel. So here we are in Wingate Ranch, which is an exclusive neighborhood and one of the most desired of the many prestigious neighborhoods here in North Scottsdale. This one is designed by Toll Brothers, and the home I'm going to show you in particular was built in 2010. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath home with an office and split style living with 3,900 finished square feet. It's single living at its finest with this one floor level and a three car garage. It's meticulously maintained with an adorable walkway and a courtyard that has outstanding indoor and outdoor living. The mix of tile was thoughtfully designed. The HOAs are 370 in here and this house is located near the playground behind me and also not far from the community center. There are also pickleball courts, four heated pools, basketball courts, volleyball courts, and oh, the pickleball courts, they're lit at night for evening play. It's listed for 2.4 million and it's in a 24 seven guard gated community. And it's also in close proximity to the entranceway. So when you go out, venture out for the day or coming home from work, it's not far at all from the entrance, which is gorgeous back there. And this whole neighborhood is very quiet and there's a lot of very gorgeous trees and landscaping and it's just really kept very well, very maintained nicely. Well, I'm not going to wear heels at a uh, hiking. So do not wear your heels when you're going hiking, girls. Um, you're not going to have a fun time. So, but do bring your water and we're going to show you some of these trails here, but behind us are the mountains, as you can see how gorgeous they are. And they have these signs where everywhere you stop, they'll talk about like a spider or like how they make a web. Yeah. If you like spiders, that is, I don't. Um, but they'll give you little stops along the way. So we're going to take you on a little walk. So let's go walking Ooh, around. Check think? it out. And um, how far is this? Uh, I think it's like 0.7 to seven. Well, like, tell about that. The regular loop is four and a half miles. It takes you about an hour and a half to do it, but it, it goes up to seven miles, but you can just even just go a half a mile. It's it's uh, at all all distances, all variations. So yeah, it's cool. They even can, you can even bring a wheelchair on here. It's wheelchair friendly, stroller friendly. There's so many different trails. It's not just one. Uh, so that's what's great about it. And you can have, there's maps and guides when you get here, there's people explaining everything. So as we were saying, they have signs around on all the paths that you're walking on the trails. And it's great for the kids. They love to read them. Um, even the um, older adults that come on the trails because there's really a lot of information. And we'll show you like this one here, just talking about um, like eating a healthy diet for a certain type of um, plants here that are growing and what they, you know, get. There's that one. There's the saguaro, <laughs> That's native right. cactus. A lot of people pronounce that one wrong and you don't pronounce, what is it? The, you, you don't pronounce do, like, the G. Yeah, exactly. So with a W, saguaro. Right. So, uh, and then they got the barrel cactuses in. They have the, um, yeah, the, then the chola, right? That's before the Europeans. Choya. Yeah, it's a really great one. That is a really great one. <laughs> so back to the journey. We're going this way. This is the easier way because we do not have the proper shoes today. Oh, it's supposed to be on the other side. Let me go over here. The tall man again. Um, so, but oh, by the way, they have filtered water all along the trail. So bring your water and you can fill it up. One of these nice things, um, the jug, so it keeps it nice and uh, cold for you. Right? Mm, what about um, right. sunblock? Don't forget your sunscreen. It's hot out here, but it's mm. actually a beautiful day. Um, the breeze is blowing, but you do want to protect yourself if you don't have a hat like me today. Some people just wear tennis shoes. Some people have a full on hiking boots yeah. and you'll see people on their mountain bikes going through here as well. It's also good if when it's cooler out to just come out here, have a little picnic. Very family friendly. We're seeing lots of little kids and running around here. And what about your dog here. who comes over here all the time? That's right. My dog loves 
this trail. Now they have to be on a leash, yeah. which is okay, yeah. but he loves it. He, when we get here, he knows it. He can't, he can't wait to yeah. get started. And the parking lot, as soon as he gets in the parking lot, right? He starts oh, yeah. tails wagging. He knows. <laughs> yep, he and knows. It's, it's great parking here. It's ample parking. It's not hard to find a spot, so that's always nice. We are literally 10 minutes from the heart of North Scottsdale and where there's communities and developments and housing. Yeah. So it's just amazing. You can whip out here in the morning, get a good hour hike in before work and head back. That's Scottsdale living right there. Hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> My favorite little term. So here's a couple more. We're gonna show you some more signs because it's just telling you all the different things again. So this is what kids love to do when they come here and play their little games, the true and false. So Read let's it. see, which one do we want to pick? The middle one. Middle one? Okay, mm -hmm. so we got middle one. I'm like a van away here today <laughs> on a hike. So true or false? Tree yeah. rings are used to determine the age of desert trees. Does that mean I'm Pat Sajak? Let's do Jeopardy. Dun, dun, dun. Lift. Up. Oh, false. Who said mm. true out there? Read it. Desert trees go in and out of dermacy more than once each year. Therefore, growth rings are, they do not reflect their age. I did not know that. Yeah. And then they have, these are, this is a good little sign here too. Showing all about the birds and the insects and reptiles. Yeah, you'll see at night there's packs of javelinas that run around here. You won't see them unless you happen to run them into them late at night. Um, you probably see some bobcat, a lot yeah. of road runners, little lizards. I don't want to stand typical, still too long because then desert sometimes wildlife. the snake might say, hey, there are persons over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they don't usually come out. No, they don't look for you. Uh, they don't want to be bothered by us. No. You know, that's the whole thing about snakes is they don't care. And so if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. But they're really, I have, to be honest, I have not seen one and I've heard people don't really see them that often. But if there is that occasion, you just want to be prepared. That's all. So let's that's continue. That's what everybody says anyway. <laughs> Here I am at this beautiful new house. It's huge. It's 5,122 square feet of space. This house was designed perfectly by a talented architect in Phoenix, and his name is Eric Peterson. And he worked with black ink interiors who really know how to make a home look stunning. Inside, there are four bedrooms, and guess what? Each of them have its own bathroom, which is pretty cool. There's also a deck, and it has great views from everywhere several patios to relax on where you can work and play and a bonus room that's like giving you that little extra space for fun and even a guest bathroom the house has these super big sliding glass doors that not only look modern but also let in all this amazing sunlight it's listed for eight million and it's just because it's so special it is it's stunning from every single detail you're going to enjoy the amazing golf views the mountain the city lights the breathtaking arizona sunsets this house is just just in the perfect little cul-de-sac as well. It's very safe, it's very quiet. It sits on a huge piece of land, almost an acre in size, which means you have plenty of space. And inside the house, it's designed to be modern and open. It's a big living room where you can hang out with your family and in the kitchen where you can cook delicious meals. The best part is the huge windows that show off the amazing views, as I mentioned earlier. And when you step outside, it is just like having your own little paradise. There are nice patios that you can relax on, barbecue if you like to cook outside and you like to get on the grill. And the kitchen outside, it really is making it all easy. There's a heated pool to swim in. This house is brand spanking new. Everything in it is impeccable, perfect condition, a true beauty. You can be the first one to go into this house and own it from scratch, fresh, all for you. Check it out. Give us a call if you have any interest to see it, but it is telling you the views, you can't get it like that. Gorgeous. I'm over here at the spa of Well and Being, and it's a serenity in the desert for a laid back and peaceful, perfect way to relax. You can start off right here, these cozy little couches. Sicily Paris is synonymous for world parallel experience of the art of botanical skincare, which I love, being that I've done aesthetics before, and I love the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess. This location is only one of 27, spanning the globe. If you want top notch skincare and bodywork, this is the largest in the US. We're going to show you around a little bit more so you can see closer look into the Sicily Spa, which is directly behind me back there. It's synonymous across the world for unparalleled excellence, mixing in the art of botanical skincare that Sicily has to offer. And not only does it include all day access to the award-winning Well and Being Spa, including all the soothing and relaxing amenities, 
but also it includes privileges to their access to their Sicily Power Spa within a spa. With six new private treatment facilities, I love the white glove Euro style attache experience that they are known for. You will no doubt be pampered when you come here. Well and being spa. We hope you enjoyed this tour around North Scottsdale and you got to see a little bit of everything. If you're trying to make that move to Arizona, feel free to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We are happy to help you make that smooth move to Scottsdale, Arizona. My name is Andrea and we would love to show you around town.